that's me. I'm your girl. I will do whatever it takes for this role. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about a movie called Starry Eyes, and this was one I'd never heard of before. I don't know how my boyfriend, like, knows about all these horror movies, and I don't. Like, I am the horror fan. He's not. And he's the one that says, let's watch this movie. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I've never heard of it. Maybe I just don't research enough or look hard enough. I'm not a true horror fan. Let's just go there. So this film is about a young aspiring actress in Hollywood. And she uh, gets an audition. She works for this place. I forgot what it's called, like Big Taters or something like that. And um, it's basically like a knockoff Hooters. She works there and she wants to be an actress so she gets this audition or she applies for this audition and they don't like her first performance so they're like we'll be in touch. And then she has a fit in the bathroom and her fits are, she pulls her hair out for stress relief and she just kind of like hits things, I don't know. So one of the people, one of the agents or whoever, the directors um, for this new movie that they're coming out with is um, in the bathroom at the time and so she's like, can we talk to you? They have her do it again and then she gets another audition. And then she realizes when she gets to meet the producer of this film um, for Estrella's production or whatever, uh, that they are expecting a little more than she wants. The second audition, they're like, can you take off your clothes? And things get a little weird. Um, then she goes to meet the producer and realizes, oh, he wants sex. So the first half of this movie, I'm like, this is not a horror movie. The only thing horrific happening is when she pulls her hair out, which isn't even that bad. It's just kind of like gross, like, oh, don't do that. So I was like, this is, I'm not going to be able to review this. This is like a drama, like, she's just going to sleep with him, get the job, and then whatever. It's not a horror. It's just like something like, um, Compliance, that movie. Um, I thought it was going to be like that. Oh no. Oh, oh no, this is, um, this is a horror. <laughs> you have to give it time to get to the horror place, but once it gets there, oh my god. It was insane. Like, it made me physically uncomfortable, and the actress that they cast for this was phenomenal. She was so good. She actually, there's a well, I don't want to spoil anything, so never mind. Let's just say they use real effects for things. But this, like, the horror part of this movie was so well done. I loved it. The makeup, just everything was so good. So I am going to get into a little bit of spoilers because I really want to talk about uh, what happens after, you know, she meets the producer and stuff because it's totally not what you would imagine. Like it took a way different turn than I thought it was going to and it became kind of supernatural. So keep that in mind when you watch it. If you don't want to know spoilers, Tune out now, I'm gonna move on. So it basically becomes something uh, demonic and it's like, it's the weirdest thing in the world. Like I don't, I didn't. Mm. I'm gonna say I liked three quarters of this movie. I hated the last part of this movie um, and the ending was really stupid. They did not round it out. Like they didn't finish the story. They didn't answer all the questions that the viewer had. Like it was just, bad in that sense, like the, the ending and stuff, um, but the middle part of the movie where it's actually a horror was so good, like I was so impressed, um, and she basically starts dying. Um, they use her body as a vessel for like a, a succubus, it's really weird, um, the concept's very strange, but um, very creative, but still a little wishy-washy towards the end. It's like they had a good idea, but they couldn't fulfill like everything that they wanted to with it and they left a lot of unanswered questions. But I will say watch this for the part where she's dying and stuff like that effects those effects are really really good. She even this is what I was going to say before without and I don't want to spoil anything. She even put real maggots in her mouth when she vomits them up in the bathtub. That was gross. I don't like maggots. Mm -mm. But this was a very interesting film and not what I expected. And actually, I really, really loved the first half, even though I thought this isn't a horror, it's not going to turn into a horror. I really enjoyed it still, like watching her story and kind of how Hollywood shapes you and makes you do things that you don't want to do just to get a job. And the people that you meet are always superficial and not always, but like the people she encounters, her friends. It's basically her roommate's friends um, that she doesn't really identify as her friends, but because th they're rude and just weird. So definitely give this movie a shot if um, you like kind of supernatural type of things. I'd say even if you don't, because I mean, I do love supernatural, but 
and I love demonic so maybe I'm a little biased but I just think the the plot and like the middle part of the film was so good I just hated the ending like I just wish they had a different ending I was not a fan so as usual leave movie requests for what you want me to film down below I have a whole list going I really need to get on board with this whole thing and just you know start pumping out these reviews because I've been watching a lot of movies and I really just want to get them out for you so yeah leave requests down below I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon bye Choice.